What's going on guys? Welcome to Gunshot Gaming. I'm Tito Rosado and today I'm going to tell you how you can take in-game footage from your Oculus Quest 2 and have it transferred over to your iPhone within seconds. So like many of you probably out there, I received an Oculus Quest 2 for Christmas. Um, so after I started playing around with it, one of the first things I wanted to try to do was show some of my friends the content that I was doing. Because for example, it was hard to explain Echo Arena, right? I was trying to tell my friends about it. I'm like, it's Rocket League in space, but with Frisbees and no cars. Sure. Um, but I really, until you could actually show that footage, even though, granted, any type of footage you view of VR, it really never does it justice because, right, it's like being in there is what makes a difference. But with wanting to show some of that content, I started researching myself online, looking at ways I could do it. Now, while I was given options of you know, technically posting it to Facebook and then you post it private, but then you make it public so then you can download it or having to, you know, plug it in, plug your Oculus into a PC, which currently I don't have a uh, laptop that goes through USB-C. So I have to order attachment, which is on the way, on its way from Amazon right now. Um, so I'll be able to mess with a little more settings there. Um, but finding a quick way to do it, there really wasn't a lot. There were secondary apps you had to download or a secondary system you had to get within your computer in order to access the files on your Oculus Quest 2. So with them playing around on there, I started recording videos and saw that there was an option to send within Facebook Messenger. So after sending the video, I realized that it worked perfectly. So I started testing this for you guys to see how long you could actually do videos for. Um, I'm gonna showcase this in the end game footage and you'll be able to see uh, how long of videos you can record and download. Um, but I was able to see that, you know, upwards of two minutes you could record and still send it through the Facebook Messenger. Then you would go on your phone and you can download it instantly after you sent it to somebody, really anybody. Um, but before I talk about every single thing I'm about to go into the video, uh, let's just get to it. All right, so here within the home screen of the uh, Oculus Quest 2, uh, we're gonna go over to sharing, just so I can show you that uh, right now, you can see here that I'm recording. That's why that's blue with the uh, little red dot as well. We're gonna go view all the content that I've recorded so far. So you can see here everything um, that I've recorded on here. Um, down below is one of the first videos I recorded that was actually too long, uh, so it wouldn't allow me to do it in the way I'm about to show you. Um, but for example, I know it's hard to see here, but there's a lot of different time frames of how long I recorded to try to test this out. This one here we're going to click on is 2 minutes and 17 seconds long. You'll see when we click on the top right hand corner, we get two different options of what we can do with it. Um, but now if we go back, we're going to click on the video that's only 2 minutes and 11 seconds long. And when we click on that top right hand arrow, it's going to give us a third option which is the Facebook Messenger. This is the option you wanna have that can send it um, through the Facebook messaging app so you can download it to your phone very fast. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually send that video through Facebook Messenger. So we're just gonna pull up uh, one of the videos that's under two minutes long as that's what I've seen uh, is the only thing that will work. So we'll click on the arrow in the top right hand corner of the video. Now we see the messenger option at the third option there. Once again, it pops up with my friends. Um, you can see here I have my wife. Uh, she's top of the list. Um, or you can go to search if you wanna search for a specific person that isn't somebody you've already messaged recently. So in order to send it, just to the right there, you're gonna click send and that is it. It's gonna send uh, from here to the uh, Facebook messaging app, which we will shift over to my phone now and show you what you do there. So after you've sent those videos from your Oculus Quest 2 to the Facebook Messenger, you're gonna go to your phone, pull up Facebook, go to the messaging section in the top right-hand corner. Then you'll see there I have my wife that I'd sent the videos to. I'll go ahead and click on her. And you can see all the videos I sent are right there. So then now you'll just click on one of the videos. And you're going to select more on the bottom left hand corner and click save. Once it gives you that icon saying it was saved, you'll see now if you go out of your phone, head over to your photos and boom. Videos right there, ready to go.
And just as a reminder for you guys, I did a bunch of different recordings of different lengths to try to figure out what's the longest video that I could share through Facebook Messenger as that made it the easiest to download. The longest one I had work was two minutes and 11 seconds, but then for example, like I said, doing even two minutes and 17 seconds, it wouldn't work. So uh, honestly, I'd play it safe and maybe just keep your videos at two minutes or less if you wanted to do it this quick way. Um, one thing that I did um, as a tip in order to keep it under two minutes is I would have Siri on my Apple Watch uh, set a timer for two minutes. So I would tell her to set a timer, then the second she said okay, I'd click record, and then I'd start doing whatever I want to do, and then the second I felt that vibration go off on my wrist of the timer ending, I knew that I had to end the video, and that helped me keep it at the time limit that I needed so I could get these clips. Now you guys should be all set to start uh, recording your videos and you're sharing it with your friends. I'm really curious to see if they're ever going to introduce like a capture setting more similar to the Xbox and PlayStation uh, and Switch um, that you can just simply click a button to record the past minute or the past two minutes or maybe set a specific setting so you don't have to necessarily bring yourself out of it to hit record and to stop recording. I'm hoping that's something that gets introduced because I would like to be able to capture, you know, some of the cool in-game footage where I don't want to sit there and, you know, record something forever and then have to cut it out, especially in the future when I connect it to a PC. But um, as I was searching around, this was something I just felt like I had to share with more people, as I would imagine a lot of people got a new Quest 2 for Christmas, and just a quick, easy way to download the videos to your phone and be able to, you know, share them with anybody, um, because I think it is cool to get more people to see what those games are like, even though, you know, as I said earlier in the video, looking at a plain, you know, two-dimensional video of VR, it just isn't, it, it, it'll never compare. It really won't. That's why until you get people to put the headset on, they're not gonna fully understand how amazing it can be within some of those games. Um, but it is crazy to see. I mean, I, I'm definitely gonna do a video more talking about the Quest 2 as it's been blowing my mind. The technology itself is just so good, especially after playing uh, that PSVR over there forever since its debut uh, and been wanting something that has a little more to it. This is exactly what I've been wanting and I just, I can't, talk it up enough. I get that people are not the biggest fan of the whole Facebook integration, and I get that. I'm not a biggest fan of Facebook myself, but right now, if that's the only way to play it, it's working and it's not intrusive. It's not hurting my experience. Yeah, Facebook sucks, but right now it's the only way I can play it. So do what I got to do there. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, happy new year, 2021. Yay. Let's hope for a good one. Um, but if you uh, enjoy what you see here, obviously check out some of my other videos below and looking forward to the new year. If you guys didn't notice, new year, new channel name. Uh, Gunshot Gaming is now the name of this channel, something I had been uh, debating on switching up uh, as I wanted to concrete in a name that I'll stick um, for life going forward. Um, but thank you to everyone that has watched any of my videos that has uh, liked or commented or asked me questions. I love getting to answer any questions uh, and it just kind of gets me excited anytime anybody uh, views any of my content because I do this because it's fun. I used to constantly talk about gaming to my brother or my friends or just you know reading up and looking at every single thing online that I could. Um, so getting to talk about it is just fun for me. So if anybody gets enjoyment out of that, um, I'm happy. So thanks for checking us out and have a good day.